Okay, Zach, let's head back to the Holy Allah. We need to confirm with our own eyes that we've completed the skeletal gentleman's oracle. suggests that they fly around, sewing up the mouths of children who don't do as they're told. In Japan, some samurai helmets are also shaped like dragonflies. There, dragonflies are seen as beneficial insects who march valiantly ahead, preying on the pests that devour crops. In other words, dragonflies symbolize opposite things depending on whether you're in the east or the west. But why did the Clarksons choose this insect to be their symbol? I can't help but feel like it's something deeper than the shaped image of dragonflies as guardians of crops. Bunga called the dragonfly the flying serpent. One of his interpretations right on the mark. The Clarksons are serpent here. Savage, cunning, and skilled at protecting themselves, but they don't slither along the ground. They're serpents with wings that allow them to soar above the rest. But now, those wings are starting to fail. That's what really triggered this incident. After acquiring wings, the serpent attained prosperity and was crowned in glory, but now it's lost its power, wavering, moments away from plummeting back down to the earth, so it started lashing out against others, just like it used to do before it gained its wings. Sort of sounds like an ancient myth, doesn't it, Sandy? Zack, the holy Allah is filling up. Looks like we'll be able to take a warm, invigorating shower tonight. Patty, are you okay? Um, no. Not really. Worried about your parents? Well, of course I am. My mom is sick, you know, and she got even worse starting about a year ago. She used to be so beautiful, but now she looks like a completely different person. She can't even get up out of her own bed no more. I'm sorry to hear that. I already hurt you once in the past, and now it looks like I've gone and done it again. No, I know Mama's illness ain't your fault, Agent York. It's more about Daddy. He... He what? Nothing. Just forget it. <sighs> hey! Y'all get down from there right now! I said get down here, goddammit! Hmm. The heir to the Clarkson legacy has come for us, Zack. And he doesn't sound very composed. You rotten little snakes! This is private property, goddammit! Uh, uh, I guess you really do want to throw down with the Clarkson, huh? Get out of here! Uh, I never gave you permission. Yeah, you think you can just walk all over us, huh? Hey! You hear me? Climb down here right now! 
You're gonna pay for for pissing off the Clarksons. Oh yeah, you'll get yours. Oh yeah, you will. Yeah, son of a bitch. I could arrest you for drunk driving, but I simply haven't got the time. What? What did you say? Ever since you got here, my whole family... And now they're all dead. You're Satan. You came here to destroy the Clarksons. You destroyed them. Satan. Satan? Not quite, Daniel. I'm just an agent carrying out a mission in accordance with federal law. On the contrary, I came to put a stop to all these problems. You might even consider thanking me for it. Federal law. Mission accordance. <laughs> Did you hear that? Bastard wants me to thank him. <laughs> I, I lost everything. My treasure. And Lee's, my old baby girl, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do now. You reap what you sow. God damn it. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you're the new heir to the Clarkson legacy. You could rebuild their empire or resign it to the ravages of time. Do whatever you like. But you'll no longer be able to borrow a certain someone's power and march around like you own this town. You need to accept that and prepare to survive. Okay, Zach. Our investigation just led us to fill up a holy Allah. What do you think we'll end up doing next? Perhaps we're embarking on a new saintly line of work here. But I suppose we have the skeletal gentleman to thank for that. Next, we need to speak with the 17 comrades. We were blessed with this oracle, so we have a duty to follow it out to the end.
Zack, do you sense that? These trees have watched over this land for the past 300 years. Long before the Clarksons built up their town, these trees were here. If they could speak, I wonder what they'd have to say about this case. Has there always been a different number of trees on each side? Yeah. I heard that by the time our town came along, there were only 17 left. A general from the south might have cut one down during the Civil War. Intriguing, Patty. Why did he cut one down? I don't know. Folks say he planted a red tree in its place. I don't know if that's true. Zach, the shape of these seeds. They look just like the ones we saw at Lisa's altar. Patty, it appears that legend about the red tree wasn't a total lie. The first tree is withered and gone, but the shells from its seeds remain. Perhaps that red tree left some descendants somewhere else. Zack, he seems to know something that we don't. Doesn't it seem like he's trying to guide us somewhere? Um, what? What's going on? Change of plans, Patty. Let's go on a little stroll with that Dalmatian.
Is this the red tree that General planted? No way! This is a maple tree. A maple tree? Then it shouldn't be red at this time of year. You're right. That's strange. A long time ago, my mama and daddy used to come here together a lot. They told me they used to go on dates here, back before I was born. Mama would make sandwiches, then they'd come here and eat them together. My mama was really pretty, you know. When I was a kid, I believed she was a real goddess. Under the boughs of a legendary tree that stayed red all year long, a small miracle was born. One man managed to win the heart of the most beautiful girl in the world, and they call him Melvin Woods. Looks like it's time to move on. What a fantastic guide we managed to find. He actually waited for us to finish talking before taking us on to the next spot.
Hey, Patty. How would you rate this creation? Not bad, I reckon. They made good use of its natural form while also pulling out the soul from within. The artificial color also looks pretty. You don't usually see this level of harmony. Something unnatural always ends up getting left behind. Zach, did you catch all that? She sounded just like the curator of an art gallery in New York. I think we may have just uncovered a new side of her. But unfortunately, I can't see anything artistic about it. Honestly, it looks insane to me. That's all I get from it. And there's no way that this is a descendant of the tree that the general planted.
<sighs> it appears. Oh well. 